The Pinball Network is online. Launching Pinball Party. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, this is Jason from the Pinball Party Podcast. How you doing? Hey, you know, it's it's going to be a short one this week. You know, so we're just starting off nice and calm. We're going to talk about some new stuff. Surprise, surprise, even more games, <laughs> right? Pinball just doesn't stop lately. Just games every week, every day. You want a game? Sure. You want a new game? Yeah, why not? How about today? Hmm, sure, I'll take one today. So I wanted to get something out to kind of give some first reactions of Godfather Pinball, announced by JJP. Briefly touch on Final Resistance, the Scott Denisi game for Multimorphic P3 system. And I guess whatever else kind of comes up naturally. But yeah, not not going to do a ton of editing this show. You know, kind of just calm, just do some stuff. But before we go any further, let me thank our wonderful, wonderful sponsor, Flippin' Out Pinball. Bye, bye, if you're bye. in the market for a new pinball machine, even a used pinball machine, they take, they take trades. So yeah, if you want to trade in your pinball machine, live in the Indiana area, contact Flippin' Out Pinball. New games from Stern, JJP... Spooky, American Pinball, you name it, they got it. Accessories, yeah. Toppers, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want a company that you can text day and night, get answers anytime you need it, good prices, f- free shipping on, on a lot of stuff, especially Stearns. Uh, yeah, contact Zach or Nicole at Flipping Out. And if you're contacting Zach, just go, go get the number and text him at like 2 a.m. You know, he likes it. He likes it in the middle of the night. But anyway, they're very responsive. Amazing company to work with. Flippin' Out Pinball. When I buy my pinball shirt, I buy from Flippin' Out. From toppers, art plates, premiums, I've got it figured out. Flippin' Out, figured out. When I think of pinball, I think Flippin' Out. Flippin' Out. We also have a couple new patrons on Patreon, so thanks to Doug and Rodney. Thanks for joining Discord. Uh, for those out there, Pinball Party Podcast has a Discord. But I would ask anyone this week that is thinking of donating or, or supporting the show, if you will, to not do that and put your money elsewhere. I would like people to check out a GoFundMe. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome Go fund me. I'll have the link in the show notes. But it's for a little happy-go-lucky kid named Weston. Weston was recently diagnosed with acute leukemia, and his prognosis is positive, but there are inherent challenges that he'll face because of the limited immune system. Because of that, he'll need to stay at the children's hospital for a few months to get treatment, and due to his conditions, his parents also have to stay with him for the entire duration of the stay. It's a large ask for any parent, but they also have an older son at home, so they're splitting the time between the two children. Anyway, something that they have found out Weston really likes is pinball. And they started a GoFundMe to try to earn enough money to get him his own pinball machine for their home so he can continue to play and find all the love and joy of pinball once he comes back. So there is this wonderful GoFundMe created by the Glide Club, Again, link in the show notes, uh, find it. Please donate. We've donated a little bit uh, on behalf of the Pinball Party podcast as well. But they started out by wanting to get him like a home pin, a Jurassic Park home pin, which would be great. But I think we can do better. I think we should try to get him, you know, the pickings. Let's try to give him the opportunity to get a machine that, that he would like. It's also an opportunity for us to do something really positive within this community. And if I know a thing or two about money not bringing happiness for myself... It's very true, but oftentimes when I do support something like this, I feel like a million bucks. So I encourage anyone else out there to do it as well. Obviously, no pressure. What I'm looking at it right now, it's about uh, 1145. So let's get those numbers up. Let's get West in a pinball machine when he's done from the Children's Hospital in a few months, come home to something awesome to play. Good luck to you, Weston. I wish you the best. And hopefully there's a pinball machine in your near future. And speaking of near future, 
the new game by Scott Denisi that he was on the show a few weeks ago, a couple months ago. He had briefly teased. It was announced that he's the new creative director of the Multimorphic P3 new game, title unknown. Title is now known. There was a teaser video and a little gameplay video of the new game from Multimorphic P3 called Final Resistance. And very recently, the Buffalo Pinball guys, I guess more specifically, Buffalo Pinball guy, Kevin, did an awesome interview with Scott Denisi. It's on their YouTube on the Buffalo Pinball. And they talked in depth about kind of the game theme and, you know, a couple, I'll say modes or just they talked about gameplay without showing it, which is, you know, a positive and a negative, but there's a lot of information there. It's about 45 minutes long. So if you want to sink your teeth into some in-depth information on Final Resistance, go check out the Buffalo Pinball video. But one of the things we learned from there is that similar to Foo Fighters, they're fighting aliens. It's the year of aliens. Another thing we learned is that it's no, it is not TNA 2.0 or 3.0. It's not TNA related at all. There's nothing to do with total nuclear annihilation aside from a similar kind of vibe, a cyberpunk theme-ish. So nope, there's, there's no DNA to TNA. TNA DNA, that's that's pretty cool. But there's aliens. Another thing they announced and probably the most uh, pertinent or thing that I cared about or other people will is the game reveal. There is game reveal in the short teaser of the video. You can see it. It's pretty cool. There's this mech that shoots balls at you really fast. That's what she said. But an in-depth reveal will be happening on March 17th, Friday, March 17th at 7 p.m. Central. Kevin from Buffalo Pinball is flying down and going to be streaming it with Scott. So mark your calendars when you want to see in-depth gameplay of Final Resistance by Multimorphic. March 17th, 7 p.m. Central on Twitch. I think it'll be on the Buffalo Pinball Twitch. But anyway, it'll be on Twitch with Kevin from Buffalo Pinball and Scott Denisi. American Pinball staying hot on the heels of everyone else. Revealing teaser after teaser, little video clips, little pictures often showing the kind of humorous vibe of Galactic Tank Force or whatever it's going to be. Still haven't seen gameplay. Personally, I guess some other people on the Pinball Network have. Apparently, I've not seen shit. So I can't comment beyond I'm really just kind of anticipating what Galactic Tank Force will be. I'm positively optimistic. Is there a way to be negatively optimistic? Because I'm actually positively, (laughs) positive optimistic about Galactic Tank Force. Because again, I think that theme sounds like fucking pinball. That sounds like a goddamn pinball theme if, if there ever was one. Galactic Tank Force. Will it also be aliens? So <laughs> I guess Godfathers is not fighting aliens. Foo Fighters is. Final Resistance is. Galactic Tank Force. I mean, galactic. So it's not going to be just Earthbound, one would assume. So is this the year of alien games? We'll have to see. Enough speculation, though. Let's talk about what was revealed earlier. Well, today, JJP's Godfather. We've seen gameplay. We've seen models. We've seen prices. We've seen the information. So let's get to it. On the 50th anniversary of the most epic saga in cinematic history. You are invited to take a place at the table. Jersey Jack Pinball pulls you back in to make you an offer you can't refuse. Choose your family and complete jobs to increase your strength and influence. Then... Go to the mattresses to carve out your piece of the city. But be warned, there are rules to this game. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Never go against the family. And don't hesitate to take the first shot. Because in this ruthless fight for power, there can only be one. Godfather. Pingball Party Official Correspondent. Kyle Hernandez. What's up, brah? 
Okay, Jason, it's good to be here, and I have some news that you can't refuse. Let's go with it. Hey, Gail, how you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing well, doing very yeah. well. Uh, th- th- this is the time to be in the pinball, because I don't know if I can remember a day, a week, a month, when we had so many exciting uh, news, releases, rumors, and, and they're still coming. We're not, we're not done yet. I know. I, every day there's a new pinball machine. You, got it. you probably have a new pinball machine in your pocket. You got one in your pocket? <laughs> I certainly do. And I've been playing it all morning. Oh. I'm excited. I am super excited. <laughs> playing uh, it all <laughs> <laughs> I did not even... Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. Well, you know, you're here because, you know, you're the man in the street, and I appreciate you coming in calm. You could see that, you know, we're, we're keeping it real easy today, you know? Not coming in hot. I, I don't even know if I've used the F word yet. I'm not even going to say the word. It might be a record. We, we I haven't said it yet. No, we're, 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 this is, we're keeping this a respectable episode. Yeah, it's, it's the Godfather. You know, we don't want to F around. We don't want to get in trouble. Right. Just That's right. Keep even keel, not anger anyone, mm-hmm. use any cussing. Um, but right. feel free to drop the F-bombs as much as you need to. Okay. Um, before we get to talking about JJP's big old reveal today, um, I know it's only been a week, but I've got a lot of feedback. People love that you're joining the show more often. They love What they love hearing is how the bat's doing. I mean, I know it's only been a week. Any earnings changes? Any? Uh, how are the games? Are they hot? Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I... I get a real kick out of doing this. And um, I like telling people, uh, you know, cluing them in to, on to what's going on on location. This is, uh, this is fun. I, I like, uh, like telling people what's going on. No, 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 no changes. Yeah. We still have, we still have the top earner and it, it's, it's, it's ramping up toy story. Toy story. Four, and it's, it's, it's been reliable. We I, we haven't had to take the glass off one time, which we are makes us super happy. Uh-huh. Um, and then we we had uh, last time I talked, we had the uh, Jurassic Park was number two, but that's because we had it as the monthly cash uh, game. So this will be an interesting experiment for March because the tournament button is now on Ghostbusters, Stern's Ghostbusters. Mm. So we'll see. We'll see if that can uh, bump it up into the uh, the top earners. And, I hope uh, so. That's one of my faves. Well, so right? Jurassic Park, but yeah. Yeah, what a, what a, what a fabulous. That's one of my favorite games. Uh, nasty it's game. Not, it's a nasty, nasty game. Uh, <laughs> um, uh uh, 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 Zombie Yeti's first actual production game. I guess if you don't count Magic Girl, but this is, I, I, would, I would say, let's say this is his first game. Okay. Um, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful game. And we'll see if this thing, uh, adding that tournament button and having a cash prize uh, ramps the earnings up on this thing at all. Um, and then, of course, third is, is still Godzilla. I, th- I think we're, we're going to see in the foreseeable future, Godzilla being one, two, or three, depending on what's going on. But um, mm. uh, that, that's what we have. That's that's the reporting, earnings report from the street. Thank you very much. And on behalf of the listeners, thank you for that update. I wonder if someone will put money into Ghostbusters enough to where they get so mad that they smash it. Because I've, <laughs> out of every game I've had, and I mean, it's, I don't want to get out of this chill zone, uh-huh. but man, that fucking game pisses me off, dude. The, when, what oh, is it? Is, is, is it the God flipper gap? I mean, what, what pisses you uh, off about fuck. this fucking machine? Because I, I love playing it. I love the theme. I think the modes are great. The mm-hmm. flipper gap doesn't get me that much because I'm, I'm good. You know, I can nudge. But those <laughs> outlane fucking pieces of shit. Oh. Outlane metal fucks. If any time that ball hits it at any angle, mm-hmm. you're, you're done. You're toast. Because you're done. they jump. They jump that little thing. They either thing. jump or they don't have any bounce back. They're just like, oh, yeah, I'm going out. Just following my trajectory. I'm going out. No matter what you want to do, I'm going out. So we installed a fix, a mod that our buddy Taylor from... Uh, 
God, what podcast is he on? Man, I, I haven't heard it in so long. I, f- I forgot it. But uh, Taylor, with uh, he hangs out with the Richmond Pinball folks. Uh, he created a, a fix for that, and um, we installed it. And it, oh, for it, the hops, yeah. For the hops, it's a it's a it's a metal piece, so it's super mm-hmm. durable, easy to install. We we got the last one he made. I don't know if he'll ever remake those things. But um, it helps a tremendous amount and makes the game a lot more fun. Now, uh, it, it doesn't anger me nearly as much as right. Turtles. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the, mm-hmm. But I, I don't want to... Let me bring it back down. I, mm-hmm. Ghostbusters is one of my favorite games, even though it angers me. It angers me just because it's whatever. But hey, I'm cool. Yeah. You know, I'm cool as a cucumber, Godfather, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. I'm uh, I'm pulling my weight. I don't want to anger anyone, but uh, yeah, let us know how Ghostbusters goes. But good, okay. Uh, JJP Godfather, it got announced officially uh, about what three, four hours ago. We have seen since then. We saw their release trailer, which is about a minute and a half. For those out there, just go to JJP's website. You'll see that. And then uh, Zach and Straight Down the Middle released a, I think, a long. What is it? Forty-five minutes, thirty-five. An Man. awesome, yeah, awesome. I, I I just better... finished watching that and please everybody go to straight down the middle on YouTube watch this thing it is super cool you get a lot of insight into the game man this game is deep deep and they better be paying Zach a pretty penny because this is <laughs> like some of the most did, professional video stuff so you're... he did this he did the whole thing I you know I was uh, talking to him earlier today uh-huh. and yeah I mean I, I'm sure he had help Actually, oh, I don't even want to say I'm sure because mm-hmm. dude's a maniac and kind of just is top tier at what he does. So right, I don't know. It right. could have been all Zach, and Everything. I wouldn't be surprised. The the placement of props, the lighting, I, and the and shots. I, yeah, I've I've done some videography on my, on my own uh, throughout the years, and I was paying attention to it. He yeah. is he's class A. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. I, some of the camera shots of, of the the way that the, he would fo- back follow the ball down when the habit. How trip. did he, does he have a rig? How is he doing I it? Don't we want to know more. Zach, tell us on the next uh, the pinball show. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah. We want to. I want to know how you did this stuff. Are you, are you on rails? Are you, you know, is it a drone? I think he's on cocaine at least to how, get all this stuff how done. How are you getting these smooth, smooth, uncut cocaine shots? Yeah, <laughs> those co- those cocaine <laughs> shots. Um, <laughs> Uh, we have a guest. Oh my God. Someone's popping in here. Someone's oh, popping in. Look I can see is. his face. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, well, Doc is Mr. here. Doc Monday. Let me, I got to get set up quick. Right. I, I don't know. Is, is this working? I think it, it is. It's, it's a little looks, loud, but it's you working. You are super hot. You can okay. super, yeah. I'm super Well, I mean, hot. physically and also mm-hmm. audibly. Yeah, right. So um, I, let me pull up Audacity too, to make sure that I can. Okay. I'll record on my end. Well, we're recording hot, so as as you pull that up, we're going to keep talking about Zach's uh, videography. But yeah, fantastic uh, long okay, video, cool. way beyond what Jersey Jack did. No offense, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, gr- a great video, um, awesome stuff. And I, I think when I was talking to him, he said next week on the Pinball Show, we're giving kind of just our first reaction of what we thought of it, what we know. It's only been a few hours. On the Pinball Show, him and Dennis, I think, are, are going to go super deep dive on this super deep game. But... So we saw a minute and a half, and then you see a fuckload more from Zach. Now I'm dropping the f bombs. I try to keep it chill. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping, keeping this one chill. chill. Yeah, and chill Doc doesn't it, know. We're, we're, oh we're yeah, keeping we're, this. We're not. We're not cursing. No. We're keeping it chill, like <laughs> we're, we're not, talking to the Godfather. We it's respectful. We're respectful. Sure. Yeah. See, I don't know if you can see. I have my Godfather shirt on. Yep. You see that? See, he's he's respects it. Wow. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah. What is that actually got? What is that? Oh, so this is, I know we're getting we're into a rat hole here, but the, the folks, the folks from John Wick, the movie. Oh, nice. Just, just dropped off a bunch of promotional what? products. They want to. What? Yeah. They, I don't know who it is. Like, just low key it, dropping in the, the John Wick team dropping so by the bat. This all started with Mortal Kombat, that movie that came out during, uh, you know, lockdowns and all that stuff. That was a good, that was a good adaptation. They they came by Warner Brothers came by here and did a big promotion. They've and so now I don't know if this is Warner Brothers, but the John Wick people just came and they, they gave us all this gear for John Wick Four, uh, even a uh, a challenge coin, which is super heavy oh, nice. and cool. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that's I've never seen the movie. So 
this might be they left us tickets to go see a, pro, a, a sneak preview and all that stuff so yeah now the bat is a place uh where all the studios are coming by and doing can, a bunch of promotional stuff can i ask why did so you did you guys get in trouble for swearing Oh, oh, the podcast? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we, we, it's a theme. It's a theme. <laughs> oh, and God, I've actually God. dropped quite a few f bombs. We just we starting off chill. Yeah. I'm trying. You know, uh, it's not. It's it's kind of working. I popped off a little bit on Ghostbusters. Um, I raised my voice and I apologize. Yeah, no, just okay. just trying something. But hey, I respect the Pizza Del Rey T-shirt. Um, that's yeah. that's the winner. Easily, they're thin crust. Anyone who doesn't get the, like, oh, let me get a hand toss there. Get out of here. What that's are you a, doing? Yeah, no, it's terrible. That's, yeah. a, that's a casserole, right? What? The, this, well, this, no, this like hand, hand tossed is like more like the pizza hut. What yeah. I think of is like that. But um, yeah, Eau Claire, like Wisconsin and Eau Claire is that that's like we, we do like the paper thin, thin crust. That's what we that's what we're all about. Is it floppy or no, 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 it's no, like no. crispy. No? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you know, you, you guys probably don't know this. But the best pizza in the world is in <laughs> Phoenix, in Phoenix. Phoenix. We've heard Phoenix, about Arizona. this. We've heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get back to Godfather. Although everyone likes pizza. Um, right, and I, right, you know, let's get to it. We're getting off I the rails my, here. Let's get back. Yeah, on. Pizza right. is Italian. Bring I'm sorry. Down. I jumped in and did this. No, bring, bring, oh, Italian. That's actually pretty good. I'm just wearing a black hoodie. All right. So Godfather revealed. Uh, for, <laughs> I got to say, first and foremost, this. Okay. Uh, for everyone out there, there's two models. L.E., C.E. Are the prices cheaper? Nope. Same shit. 12000 and 15000 Get wrecked. Mm-hmm. Uh, still expensive. Okay. But this C.E., Godfather C.E., uh, that is something. There is some literal gold lions on the outside of the legs. Um, of course. And they look like, speaking of Mortal Kombat, they look like something out of Mortal Kombat that they tacked on at the end Mm -hmm. on the outside. They do kind of, I like how they look though. I thought, I think it's cool. The more like that we're seeing Jersey Jack and like, I know that American pinball is doing some weird stuff with galactic tank force. I actually dig the idea of like playing around with like stuff that you can play around with on a, on a pinball Mm -hmm. machine. So that, that I thought was kind of cool. I mean, it's totally ostentatious, but it's pretty cool. Right. That's that's the right word. I was thinking gaudy, but that's the better word. But uh, two things I guess I prefer on the collector's edition from looking at pictures. Uh, maybe not prefer. Yeah, no, prefer. The side art, I like that the, the Don himself is on the outside, the Godfather, as opposed to just... Is that Al Pacino on the other one in the main? Yeah. Uh, the art on the side art, which normally I don't care about because I side art on a pinball machine, I don't care ever, really. Mm-hmm. But if it's... Hey, we're splitting hairs. That and that fucking... <clears throat> That effing topper is so wow. Yeah, rapid fire like, uh, uh, knockers and, yeah. and dudes shooting That's left dope. and right. That is super it's dope. Super dope. I uh, mean, really I, I, smart, like. That's just like really smart design. You know what I mean? Like that's just really cool theme integration. And like that actually is some innovation that's like, while it's not like, oh, we're creating a new, you know, like the Denise lock or something like that. That's just like something though, like where you can tell like a lot of inventiveness went into this machine from top to bottom. And that's just like really cool integration of that, of that. I think 100%. And this uh, goes right along with, um, the toy, toy Story Four being in the arcade, it is such a loud machine, and 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 not just technically loud. The the light show, it, it is these these games are a real attraction. Yeah, yeah, and the, the topper. I haven't read enough in all the little like uh, details and everything. Can you get the topper on the LE? I don't know. I'm you know I, I realized when I'm. 99% of the time when I'm about to talk about my opinion of the game, I'm always talking about it, which I'm glad Doc is here because I'm always talking about like, oh, the price of getting it in the home. I'm not a collector, but just, the, you know, I want to get a game to, to play the shit out of it because locally we just can't always get this new stuff. If I think of it, though, as like the way Doc, I would think more aptly thinks of it. If like if cost isn't an issue and you want to play the game, I want to play this game. Holy shit. A hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm right there with you. Where it just feels like, like, c- could we talk for an hour about how it sucks? There's a fifteen thousand dollar pinball table, absolutely. But also, yeah. like, 
who cares? Like we're going to, me and you are definitely going to road trip to tilt and go and play it, you know? And like, if your dad doesn't you have know, you clean his room again, play. yeah. Uh, so um, stop cleaning your dad's house or whatever. And we can make that happen. <laughs> Isn't that what I know? Last that time? was a, look, I, there are not many times where I get to be a good son. So when I have those, I have to like, especially when it's something easy like that, you know, it's just like lifting some stuff up. So yeah. I don't actually have to like care about anyone or do anything important. So, well, yeah, we'll, we'll go play it. And aside from getting it in your house. Yeah. I mean, it's expensive. Is it overpriced? I don't know. I guess in my opinion, sure. Maybe, but I'm not like some financial pinball expert just at home. Like I'm not going right, to buy same. this. Yeah. Uh, it looks fun. Like that's, it looks fun. Like I, I really think, um, the lighting in it was, I was actually thinking about you, Jason, because the, like they've gone beyond expression lighting, right. On this one, like all around the back, all around the sides. Like the one thing, the one problem I kind of had with it is I did notice they <sighs> Jersey Jack loves rainbows. Like, I don't know why they love rainbow coloring so much, but even seeing like the inserts of like the different modes, they were flashing in rainbow colors. I was like, yeah, maybe we could like focus that up a little bit better, but that's like splitting hairs because I think like so much of it was like real, like, wow, I would love to play this game in the dark, you know? Yep. And yeah, this thing, it, this thing does look bananas. Uh, one of the other features I noticed uh, when I was looking at the matrix, they have, they've trademarked the glory bumper, which I'm guessing is a hole in the play field with a pop bumper coming out of it. It's a glory. Oh, hole. no. Yeah. Is that, does anybody know what that's all about? Is that Are really you what it's called? Yes. Uh, glory bumper TM. That's Ooh. dirty. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> short. I could probably fit in that pinball machine and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, the other thing I noticed, aside from the glory hole, oh, hey, that glory hole you know just keep it yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. uh the expression light they say limited edition lighting 450 individual controlled rgb leds it, am, am i missing something are they just like we're even, not saying expression light even anymore? some at the topper there, there's like yeah. there's a bunch of uh individually controlled uh you know uh, leds this this thing is going to be you beautiful know, what's funny uh, speaking of the point of, you know, complaining about an expensive pinball machine, let's just say, and I'm not complaining about the prices, but if we did take price to price, this $15,000 collector's edition, which is just pimped to the nines with probably the, probably the coolest topper at first face value that I've ever seen, uh, even better than the black Knight sort of rage versus the six, the $20,000 bond LE. I mean, because then it's like this thing looks like fifteen grand at least. I, like there's fifteen thousand in here. I, this looks worth it. I just can't yeah. afford it. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference. That actually, Jason. That's a really good point, though. Like, like because we're me and you are members of like some quote unquote toxic fandoms like Star Wars and pinball, where like the our the impulse is always to be like, but it's like. This is a really good point to be like, we can still call this expensive and be like, hell yeah, we want to yeah. play it. Um, and it, we, cause you can see the money going into the machine, which is so <laughs> much putting... different than like, okay, this is super expensive. And like, where the hell, like, why is this costing, you know, 15 or $20,000? Like this one, you're like, cool. I, I see it. Like, yeah, right. You put yeah. gold lines on the outside of it. I get it. Yeah. It's even when that you you guys saw that picture right of Eric Minier, um like a couple days ago when they released it with like the underside of it where mm. it's just like wow like looking at, looking at it from mm -hmm. that perspective was just like I mean I, another reason probably not to have it on location but uh, yeah <laughs> it's, it's really impressive. Well, uh, Kale was mentioning right before you came on here that Toy Story still being their top earner is also like a beast. It's not breaking down. He's not taking the glass Word. off. But when I see Godfather and, and like the shots, 29 ball pathways, the amount of like diverters they were talking about in, in Zach's super long video where there's just tons of information. I can't even remember half of it. This game looks packed to the brim of if I owned it, which I won't because like you said, can't really afford it. Uh, something breaks like what? What do I do? Where do I go? It just seems like a, a nightmare, but hope maybe yeah. it won't happen. I don't know. Kale, you work on stuff. Would you want to work on this game? 
Uh, I would love to. I would love the opportunity to. If anybody wants to purchase this game and put it <laughs> in the electric bat, we will give you a cut of of all the money that comes in. Uh, I would love to see this. What this thing looks like under the hood, um, with you know, with with heavy play. Um, you know, you might see some issues, but I, I would love to tackle it. Have we talked at all, Jason, um, about the actual, like, I guess it's not even gameplay, but the coding of this game or like how it, because that to me was super interesting when he was like, they're taking almost a Game of Thrones approach to it, where it's like you get to pick your family and there's a map of New York and like you get to like one by one be like taken over like those boroughs or whatever they are. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I, I, it to- it's, it's like an amazing uh, pinball slash RPG. It's, it's yeah, really it's like, cool. that's what I was I thinking, like Rogue right. Ride or something like that. Yeah. It's, oh. and, and, yeah. yeah, when when they were as much as I gleaned from the first, I, I didn't soak it all in. I you know grab pieces because information overload. The one thing I always like about well not always but most time with Jersey Jack is yeah they they're like this is we want to make it worth it so this code has tons of shit and the yeah. amount of like they they do that awesome thing where I'm holding it up as well but you know where they release the like here is the snapshot yes. of all the rules yeah. I love those those for the flow chart it looks great yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, Stern. If they do that, I don't see it in, in apologies. But this is <laughs> right. like amazing. It's, 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 it's worth a video it's game. worth noting that Jason, especially with a flow chart like that, is something quite simple that your team can work up. That I think, like, if we had something similar like that for Bond, I think people would be really excited about Bond. You know, like, um, so, so like Jersey Jack doing that is just like that's a very I feel like their last couple of releases, like whether you like them or not, they've really figured out how to release stuff and mm-hmm. keep it streamlined and like give you all the information up front that you want to like make that decision. Like I, I really know, appreciate right. that about Jersey Jack. Yeah. Right. They're like, Hey, it's, I think it's like out today. Like buy it now if you want. And here's everything you need to know. Imagine putting that chart, the bond, uh, uh the, uh, Godfather one next to bond bond would be like one <laughs> box. And like, uh, there's, there's multiball. <laughs> And then <laughs> there would just be like a lot of questions. I think there'd be like a lot of question yeah, mark boxes. and broken like, lines. Like, yeah, yeah, this doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's not there. Yeah. Um, and TBDs. And then Jersey Jack. See, yeah, I am part of the toxic fan base because I took a good thing and then used it as a moment to like trash bond. For oh, us. yeah. We got to watch out for the Godfather. Bring it down. Yeah, bring it down. Uh, We're trying to be down. chill. Yeah, just oh, chill. Yeah, I'm can, sorry. Can we, can we talk about this music? Are we doing that or what? The Slash we, stuff? We, slash. Yeah, we, nailing we have, it. We have Slash playing the guitar. And then my, my personal friend, Mark Tremonti, uh, providing his vocals. <laughs> Uh, Wait, you're friends with Mark Tremonti? Yeah, so uh, his he he used to play in a band called Creed, and they opened up for my band in uh, in uh, Creed opened up for you? Yes, in Atlanta, Georgia. Creed, was, Creed. <laughs> this is very funny because I we had no clue who they were, um, <laughs> and I you know I was like, oh, come on, let's uh, you know I rolled up a big joint. I was like, yo, let's smoke. They brought down. out their Bibles I, and I've all that. Got a bottle of liquor right here. I didn't know how straight laced he was, but yeah. he very kindly said oh no i don't partake um and he is he is generally one of the sweetest guys in the world and um i had no idea he was a huge pinball fan i need to reach out to him i don't i don't know that he's a huge pinball fan what they say in that video was that he had already been doing like frank sinatra covers and uh like they they actually said he's a huge pinball fan eric did 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 you not catch that part Kale's coming hard. No, I didn't. Bring it down. Bring it down. No, I I did not. I didn't think. I didn't know that. I guess I haven't seen all the pinball iconography and all the different uh, Creed album covers like you have. Yeah, dudes, uh, you're friends with the the Wick production crew. Creed opened up for you. (laughs) Tool tools. eh, I won't talk about the tool thing. The um. So this thing uh, here, I'm I'm holding this up. What? Did is, you guys, that, yeah. is that the glory about, bumper? No, the, the, no, that's the fountain. <laughs> the fountain, not the glory hole. The, when he was talking about that there's 16 lights under this fountain, Jersey Jack, I mean, you probably didn't need to do that. Uh, <laughs> but but that's cool. You know, they can make it look like water. They can do all this. Uh, I so, so that's not the glory bumper, is it? Is it? Oh, maybe that it is. Ha- that, that has oh, no, it to is. Be the- Shit. 
that has wrong. to be the glory bumper. It yeah. is the glory bumper. The glory hole. Oh, bumper. There it, is. it is the glory yeah. bumper. Okay, Got so, it. so the glory when, bumper. When when you guys woke me up this morning and sent the video to me, I watched it. The first thing I thought was uh, uh, the the bomb. Right. This yeah. is an expensive game. The uh, the licensing, they got all the likenesses of all these incredibly uh, famous actors. It just made me think about all the stories, and they've, they're pretty public now about the fights Steve Ritchie has had over the years with, uh, with Stern and, and his bomb, and he wanted to do crazy shit. This kind of makes me feel like Steve's next game is just going to be absolutely bananas because uh, – uh, you know, and in the past, uh, Stern's accounting department has put the bomb on his bomb. Now, uh, now it looks like the, uh, the 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 cuffs are off. Let's let's do it. His his, his next machine is going to be bananas. Well, I just I don't think you could do the Godfather without Marlon Brando. Like people would be thinking, right. like think about how lame this would be if it was like a generic Godfather character rather than actually like a Marlon Brando sculpt and using the video and his life. Like it's so um, integral into like that experience right. that I, I, I think they, I think they really uh, Jersey Jack understands that, right? Like same thing with Willy Wonka, same thing. Like I don't, I don't necessarily totally jive always with, the themes that they choose to do, but God, am I always hoping they'll do a theme that I like because they, they really, they do it right for sure. Um, and wh whether you like, like there are other things that we can talk about is like, do you like how they flow? Do you like the, how their flippers work? Yeah. Um, some, some of those things, maybe, maybe not as much, but man, like when it comes to just integrating a theme, I just like, they're second they're, to none. Second to none is a good, yes, exactly right. So, and, and that's a, this actually, um, that brings up the good point of like the Godfather is a theme. I wasn't, I mean, we've talked about it before. You guys were both like, I would rather have good fellas, which I totally understand. Uh, for me, like it has a special place in my heart. Cause I told you this, like it's my mom's favorite movie. I that's right. actually said, this is the first pinball um, video like premiere that I've sent to my mom. And she was like, Oh, it's so great. And it was really funny because I know we don't, we don't like him on this network, but I was listening to a little bit of Canada, just like freak out about how gaudy it was. And my mom at the same time is like, it's so beautiful. I would love to have that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, oh, how much is it? Can I like, get one? You Just know, fifteen uh, grand. One person's trash is another person's treasure. I'll say that. Yeah, and uh, for anyone wondering out there, Toy Story Four was Toy Story Four. From everything they're saying in the video, this is Godfather. Full stop. All of it. One, two, three of the trilogy. They had clips from all three movies. These awesome sculpted bash toys, where like the Don Vito Corleone sculpt is awesome. Um, the, uh, the Furious Floyd custom, I, I don't see, I've never finished the movies. They're all ones that I feel like they're like, yeah, movie adjacent to the movies. I like Goodfellas, Wolf of Wall Street, uh, you know, Scorsese movies. I just, you know, they, I just never finished it. Um, yeah. do these sculpts, they're definitely, they're definitely slower because very. like they're the originals, right? They're definitely slower than those ones. Yep. So I wish yeah. I knew the movies in depth to really go ham on, oh, they have this reference, that reference. Well, I just don't. What was really funny was hearing, um, I forget the gentleman's name who did the rules on this, uh, but he was talking about, <laughs> like, they're like, you know, a lot of The Godfather is about a vibe or like a theme. And right. it's really hard to integrate that into a game, you know, like it's, it doesn't have necessarily like how Indiana Jones, like it makes sense, you know, to have all these different things in a pinball game. So like this actually probably was a little bit more abstract than what a lot of those guys are used to, you know, for the, for the stuff that they're doing. Yeah. That you couldn't program mood into a game. So they had to kind of, <laughs> right. Yeah. Which I agree. However, I think a game like Lord of the Rings without even playing it, you can tell this is the or Tron. You don't even have to play it, and like this, they got the mood right for sure. It, and light and lighting, right? Yeah. And like this game is doing lighting right. Like lighting rainbows. and music goes such a long way. So a lot of rainbows in the Godfather movie, which it it's weird because they <laughs> well, started that, that's with the thing. I'm like, right. We got to get past this, guys. I know you want to show that these lights can do every single color. We probably don't have to do it in every game every time. But, you know, this that's, fit, that's me uh, just nitpicking. 
this fit, um, you know, Wizard of Oz, of course, because of the rainbows, literally. Toy Story, it fits. But Godfather, again, back to the Lord of the Rings reference, would probably do much better with just like incandescent glowing, like gold. I mean, it's totally. gold on the outside. Make it, yeah, hey, whatever. Pick a nits. Yeah, at, uh, at the least, that should be a, a setting on the, you know. That is a good call. But on That's the, a very good call. But on the streets, and I can tell you from having uh, Toy Story 4 here, the light show is drawing people in. Yeah. Yeah, but that's like at a carnival. I just think like with this one, you're right, Jason. It's like red, black, gold. Like those colors are kind of, you know, stark white, like piano key white, I think would be really cool. Um, mm-hmm. But I from the yeah, gameplay, I, I, like video, did any, any of you get any sort of like, I can't tell what the game is really like. I, there's just <laughs> no, so neither, much. Not at yeah, all. I can't. Is it flowy? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's there's a lot of shots there's there's just so much to it. it's not a negative thing it's just I, you can't digest all of it in a quick you know half hour right. video and not get your hands on it don't know yeah i would say in general i guess like eric minier's games feel like they're the most flowy of the jersey jack games um did you, although did i will you, did say, you say like floaty or flowy flowy okay right would you say <laughs> well, i think uh, both would well, work well the only and I've only played two GNRs and they were both like real floaty, but that's how these people are setting it up. And they have like, you know, soft flippers. So I'm, I'm hoping they've sped this one up a little bit. Well, I was kind of thinking about GNR that I, that I'm not like the biggest GNR fan, but I do think it shoots pretty well. Mm -hmm. Um, And, and this one, I don't know if it has that same thing. The one thing I worry about is that this game will be kind of choppy just because there are a lot of not necessarily like dead end shots, but anytime, like you're saying, like we have that glory bumper, which I hate saying, or uh, the, the um, like when you're fighting the machine gun guy, like those are kind of like stopping points, you know, and then it's rattling around in there and then popping back out, um, which isn't necessarily like the best thing for flow, but like, you're right. Like we didn't get anything long enough, longer than five seconds to know. um, Did you notice that you can control that disc? That's what they said. So yeah. how do you do that? No what clue. Is that? You can control the direction, I guess, with the flippers. I don't but know. An action button, maybe? Huh. The one original thing this game has versus all the other games that were announced, you know, this week or this month, there's 50 games coming out right now. This is one of the only ones that doesn't have anything to do with aliens. Foo Fighters, <laughs> you're fighting aliens. <laughs> yeah. Final Resistance, you're fighting aliens. Uh, Galactic Tank, tank Force, yeah, the tank game, yep. probably you know. So hey, it's a non-alien game. Uh, the furthest from well, it. We don't know what the final wizard mode is. Maybe oh, it's, it's Godfather aliens. versus aliens. That'd be <laughs> that'd be sweet. Really staying with the theme of the year. You know, last year awards. I'm just thinking way ahead here. Just within the last two weeks, there's like been more games that are like already going to be up for awards versus like the entire of last year. I know. Where yeah. there was like 2020 rush. I, I was thinking someone we got to get David Dennis on this. But like, is this the most pinballs that have like machines that have been released in a year since like the 90s or like it seems like it. We're not even done with the first quarter of the year. Yeah. Yeah. And there's already like three or four. Like there's going to be probably a half dozen by the end of the year. Right. Like if mm-hmm. we have Chicago Gaming Company, another Stern, yep. uh, potentially another JJP, um, potentially another American. I don't believe it, but right. that's what they're saying. Um, it, you know, that's a, that's crazy. Yeah. Complete Agreed. opposite of last year. Last year it was like, can we just get a game? Sure. Here's one. No offense to what came out, but. You know, this no, all- but it was the pandemic hangover. You yeah. know, it was just, it seems like stuff's opening up more. People are getting their parts finally. And um, it's really cool. It's really cool to see because this is now matching the like, I always said that Nudge, see, like it was funny, Nudge and, and Pinball Party too came out during times when it was actually kind of down times yeah. for pinball, which was maybe good because, you know, our stuff is based a lot on personality and not necessarily like new games. But now it's really exciting because we're having our first time where it's like, right. Oh, wow. Like, I mean, you know, I watched when like 
I, I, I mean, I've been watching all the dead flip streams whenever he premieres a pin for the last few years, but it just feels the energy just feels kind of different. Like, like we didn't even say I didn't even say spooky, you know, like they have <laughs> Scooby Doo out like. Oh, it's, right. It's, just, it's it's just wild. I know there's a lot. Um, and, you know, before we even get to play this game, I, I don't really have anything, you know, first impressions, I should say. It looks intriguing. I'm intrigued, you know. Prices aside, because like whatever, who cares? I guess uh, right. I, I want to play, play it. it. I want to yeah. play it. That's the best they can do. And wanna... the price is seems right. I mean, you For made this. that point, and I I agree. I was expecting the the uh, you know the the CE edition to be like twenty grand. Yeah, and it would still yeah. If it was priced the same as sixtieth, it still has got the. I, I don't want to bash that anymore, but yeah, this one just looks like yeah. a million bucks. It looks like fifteen thousand dollars to be precise. Right. Totally. It I, and I think you know what? Maybe that's where Jersey Jack ends up in the marketplace, like kind of like a luxury car maker. You know, like mm-hmm. Stern is the one putting out like really quality stuff that's at a certain price point, and mm-hmm. if Toyotas you want and Fords. To- Exactly. Yep. Yep. And, 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 you know, these are like, I don't know what Audis Maseratis. or Maseratis. Yeah. Sure. Well, oh. uh, Maserati, let's not, I mean, let's, <laughs> do you, let's, let's, let me, let's, let's play Godfather before we say that. I want to ask you guys uh, each yeah. this question and I want to answer it for myself first. Uh, if JJP was to make a game for me where I would buy it site, like, uh, uh, I guess what I'm answering is if this was a Superman theme, like Superman Donner era, I'd buy the CE and I'd be like, I'll sell my stuff and I'll just own that because it looks incredible yeah or if it was like a newer lord of the rings or if it was a matrix and be like i'm in i don't care fuck it i want to buy it do you do you guys have a theme that if jersey jack made it you'd be like i'm in no matter what because that's my that's my shit doc how about you well i mean some of my favorite themes i i just don't think they'd ever do i like a lot of anime stuff so i'm gonna just like skip all that (laughs) um i guess honestly what i think would be really cool and they'll never make this also but it would be awesome is a rocketeer theme do you remember that movie oh god i do and like have it be extremely Art Deco, extremely 1940s. Like this, this seeing Godfather got me psyched on something like that. Cause I mm. was like, you could have a total, maybe it'd be like Leonardo DiCaprio's Great Gatsby, but just like something yeah. set in that time where it's just kind of like checkerboards and Art Deco stuff. And, and the, like that music, I think would be really fun. So, and, and Jersey Jack seems like even when they're doing adult themes, they kind of want it to feel like, for the family, you yeah, know? So yeah. I, I think that that would be uh, one that would work really well. Rocketeer is oh, close that to my heart. That sounds cool. Kale, how about you? Do you got one? Yeah, I want I want a Blade Runner pin. Oh. Super bad. Yeah. And with, with the deep Jersey Jack rule set, I think that would be happening. Or Dune with uh, Mobius doing the art. Oh, I guess you'd have to Mobius like Mobius. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and just to clarify, Blade, you're saying the OG with Harrison Ford. OG, yeah, Rutger yeah. Howard, Harrison, Harrison Ford, yeah. That, I really like the new one as dope. well. They they could do really cool like translucent like li- like all the stuff that they like to do. All the like rainbow coloring would work really well in a in a um, Blade Runner world, you know, where it's all yep. neon and for sure and, uh, it would fit. I hope yeah. they're listening. I answered mine, and I think for everyone, yeah, the, the two that I think anyone would do anyway would be like a really good Star Wars or Harry Potter. I think that's just kind of a given yeah. for, for the masses. Well, yeah, right? and like, okay, can, and like we don't have to talk about this much, but like, what the hell? Why did he do that? I Harry don't Potter know. Picture? Yeah, <laughs> what, dude, what is like, going on? it's Jack. <laughs> but like, are you saying that the next game is Harry Potter? So don't buy this really expensive game. Exactly, it's like. You're all he's doing is undercutting Eric Minier, who like seems like the guy there. Like uh-uh. I don't know it, it, that that just felt weird to me. Also, uh, I did like that Eric Minier dressed up as a character in the reveal video. Yeah, uh, I said it was very eighth grade graduation looking. I think because it was a red dress shirt with a black tie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was uh, that I thought that was very cute. I wish uh, I wish Dead Flip or Scott Denisi would take a note out of that book. So yeah. Uh, speaking of Scott Denisi, they uh, Joel is having him and I forget who else. Is it tonight? What is it today? Tuesday? Tomorrow night, uh, flipping out with friends. He's going to talk to Scott about 
uh, Final Resistance a little more. So we, you know, oh, go nice. from Godfather Whiplash back into um, Final Resistance. Back there's just there's so much and Foo Fighters. I, I got I still have mine on order. Uh, it's coming. I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, but hey, I want to keep this one short today. I'm gonna go see Creed three with Dana pretty soon. So I gotta oh, nice. plop this together. Go see that. Um, any last thoughts on Godfather? You two. We're living in exciting times for pinball. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we're living when we're living, and I'm glad uh, to see you guys again. It's been a little while. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yep, good to see you. I am. I am excited about shooting this thing. Hopefully, I, uh, somebody's going to buy it. it. It looks so great. I know somebody around me is going to buy it. And when you do, drop me a message. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come help you open it up. <laughs> yep, going to get on that glory hole. Glory pop up, whatever. <laughs> Glory bumper. Right. I got, TM. Glory bumper. Yeah, it's a, it's a PG episode, which uh, it's a hole through whatever. the playfield. I promise. Yeah, I'll hide oh, in there. Geez, That's weird. the only way to do it. All right, everyone, go check out Nudge Pinball. Go check out Electric Bat Arcade. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye. As always, it's great to have both Kale and Doc Monday on the show. But no lie, time to go to a movie. But in the meantime, for all you waiting for another Pinball Party episode, make sure to check out, I think there's a free play this week and another Pinball Tapes, which is awesome. And then next week, we'll have a pinball show, I'm pretty sure, and probably a deeper dive into Godfather, especially since Zach was there, apparently saw much more than we did. So there is just kind of a first reaction to some of the stuff today. Just wanted to get out and say hello and and give a little bit of that. Also check out Joel and the Flippin' Out with Friends. I believe Scott Denise is on soon to talk more about his new game at Multimorphic. So until next time, thanks for joining us at the Pinball Party. Send us an email at pinballpartypodcast at gmail.com. Check out the Patreon. At, in fact, and better, go check out that GoFundMe in the show notes. Toss a little coin if you can. We'll see you next time. When I buy my pinball shirt, I buy from Flippin' Out. Toppers are plates, premiums, I've got it figured out Flipping out, figured out When I think of pinball, I think flipping out Flipping out